We oppose and are greatly disappointed by Turkey's decision to launch a unilateral military incursion into northern Syria. This operation puts our SDF partners in harm's way. It risks the security of ISIS prison camps and will further destabilize the region. From the President on down, we have communicated with the Turks on this issue. As we previously reported, when Turkey notified us of an imminent military operation, we relocated a small contingent of less than 50 special operations soldiers out of the immediate zone of attack. This decision was made to ensure American troops were not caught up in the fighting between Turkish and Kurdish forces. The safety of our men and women in uniform remains our top priority. As such, we are repositioning additional forces in the region to assist with force protection as necessary. To be clear, we are not abandoning our Kurdish partner forces and U.S. troops remain with them in other parts of Syria. The impulsive action of President Erdogan to invade northern Syria has put the United States in a tough situation, given our relationship with our NATO ally Turkey, who has fought alongside the United States in the past, the Syrian Democratic Forces, who helped us destroy the physical caliphate of ISIS, and the safety of U.S. military personnel. Rather than get pulled into this conflict, we put the welfare of our soldiers first, while urging Turkey to forego its operation and working hard with us to address their concerns through the development of a security zone along the border. We remain in close coordination with the Syrian Democratic Forces, who helped us destroy the physical caliphate of ISIS. But I will not place American service members in the middle of a long-standing conflict between the Turks and the Kurds. This is not why we are in Syria. We will continue to work with the 80 members of the Defeat ISIS Coalition and the Syrian Democratic Forces to ensure the defeat of ISIS.